weeks, we were testing uh, face verification. So after the session, more um, visually impaired users could pass face verification. Yeah. One of the users actually messaged me and said like, Oh, you know, thanks for doing this. I'm like, oh, so touched. Aww. Save it, screenshot. <laughs> yeah, I must tell you that this guy was really very worried that, you know, if yeah. face verification was not improved, yeah. he's not going to be able to access a lot of websites. Yeah. So fun fact, during the session, right, he was screaming, you know, like shouting. He was like, I'm so sorry to shout, uh, but it's my first time passing this. And then Mama was like, oh no, so touched that. Because we fixed a problem that has been around for some time. But I feel like when I see the result, I was like, oh, it was worth it, you know, yeah. If you think about it, uh, a lot of banks and a lot of uh, uh, other websites are now switching to asking visually impaired people to use space verification. Right. So if it's not going to work, then what's going to happen to us? Mm -hmm. Want to learn more about accessibility and inclusive design? Watch the full GovTech Decoded episode on YouTube and Spotify.